Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bombasetti. In this video, we'll cover one of the snowflake processor use case. So requirement is that what, okay? I want to update the mail ID of an employee using snowflake processor or with the help of snowflake processor, that is by using SQL scripting, I want to update the mail ID using snowflake processor. Dynamically, I want to make it done. Okay, so if you want to solve this requirement, you should have better understanding of the following concepts like, so what is database? What is schema? So DDL, data definition language, data manipulation language, data retrieval language, and how to write a processor, how to call a processor, like a show processor, describe processor, and a conditional statement. Okay, if you understand these concepts, like it is easy to get the things clear. Now, so we'll see the sum of the concepts, like how to create a database. So create or replace database, database. Now, in a similar fashion, schema, schema. In a similar fashion, table. Okay, so. I have created one database, one schema, one database. And now we'll see the syntax. Okay, just understand the basics. Once you're good with basics, we can able to go and we can able to create a complicated process. Okay. Now create or replace processor, processor that is hello prox. So I want to return string, okay, string data type. So language is SQL. So it's an SQL scripting language. So as so dollar like begin. So this is an execution section. And end like this way. You know, I am simple processor. I want to okay when you call this person, we'll get out as hello snowflake developers. Okay, so now we log into the application snowset and we can able to work it there. Okay. okay, now this is snowset UA. Now what happened? First to create one database. Always create development database. So create database. So Pravin development DB. It's a development database. Okay, see. Database has been created, or we can able to use use database. So Pravin Dev DB. Okay. In a similar fashion, so try to create one more schema. So create schema. It's also Pravin. Okay. So it's a development scheme. Okay. So dev scheme. Okay. So so okay. So spelling mistake. So one thing. So create or replace or create database. So Pravin Dev DB. Okay. So in a similar fashion, Pravin Dev Scheme. Okay. So uh, this is my database name. So Dev DB and Dev Schema. So if you want to know, we can go for select current database. Current database. Okay, this functionality should know current database, current schema. Okay, so if you execute know what happened, we'll get so Pravin Dev DB, development database, and development schema. Okay, so now I have created one database one schema now what happened in this database and the schema i want to create one table so create table employee details employee details underscore t it's a table okay so bracket open bracket close employee id it's a number data type so number data type similar fashion employee name let's see where here in a similar fashion create mail okay mail aid okay so mail it's a alphabet and numbers is also where here now i have created one database one schema and this one i have created one table okay now i want to see the data by using pr data data that is select statement select star from employee details okay as of now there are no records okay now what happened i want to copy some data okay insert into employee details values one i'm putting my name pravin and so pravin at the rate abc dot okay so this is my my mail id okay so this is fine so one more employee has been joined okay his name is kumar so second kumar now suppose like he doesn't have any mail id now i'm putting as no okay so now what happened? We are having two records. Okay, see, employee one, employee two. Now Pravin is there. Here mail ID is there. Kumar is there. Now mail ID is not there. Okay. Now requirement is that what by using so by using Snowflake processor. Okay, I want to I want to update this statement. Okay, one more time. My requirement is that what by using Snowflake processor, I want to update here mail ID. Okay, instead of going for static, I want to make one dynamic. Okay, first understand update statement. Update employee details okay so set what do you want to set set this mail id column okay so mail id equals to so simple i have put kumar at rate 
abc.com so this is my mail id okay now we should go for filtering concept so where okay where what should we do we should put employee ID. where employee id equals to so second employee this is a, this is normal we can able to okay, we can able to do. now what happen we should make this of one procedure okay because so instead of, we should not do static we should make this one dynamic okay or make it make this a code useful then we should go make us a what procedure so syntax for creating a question is that what create a replace procedure so procedure name okay so what is my procedure name we can give some okay see what happened i'm giving like employee okay mail updation updation pro okay we should give one proper name so that what so by see this one you can able to understand okay this is what so this is a procedure for employee mail updation pro okay, bracket open bracket close now what happened we should mention returns so returns data type we can go for where in a similar fashion we should mention language which type of language i'm going for for this use case i'm going for sql so it's an sql script okay as dollar this is the starting and this is the ending so create or replace procedure procedure name okay so so create or replace so procedure procedure name returns where language sql so this is an sql stripping language as dollar dollar now what happened make so begin and begin and end okay good point so this is what so this is the so procedure okay so begin. now what happened i put return so return something like hello sample closer i'm putting hello world okay now now what happened try to create this process now what happened function has been successfully okay now how to call this procedure we should make so what so we should make so so call so procedure name okay see by using this we can able to call any person now to see what happened now it will be what okay. hello what is a sample block now requirement is that what okay i want to do this software shape okay take the statement okay and put in the what put in where so put in the this thing okay in the execution section okay see so one more time okay like this again okay so so begin and end. now we should give one proper proper message now so mail id mail id has been updated successfully successful okay so what happened this is the message i want to give okay now try to create this procedure uh -huh. one more time now call now what happens see calling this person okay now confirmation mail id has been success updated successfully okay confirmation go back here so select star from this table now see what happened okay so data has been updated successfully suppose if you are going to kumar one something i put kumar one now try to create this processor now try to call this now what happened instead of one see instead of kumar to be kumar one this is what this is static process remember so this is static process static process is nothing but what okay every time when you exist same thing what happened tell me you will get kumar one okay at this okay. now what happened we should make this of dynamic process so dynamic process so dynamic process is nothing but what we should make this of what concept like arguments or parameters we should make this of arguments or parameters okay now go back here now what are the arguments okay instead of putting two and these are hard to cut well so we should make some parameters are or so p underscore employee id same number data right? okay same thing now in a similar fashion so p underscore m okay mail id okay so let's say where okay where okay got the pointer now take the same thing now instead of putting the hard coded value so put here okay so okay so same thing now go back here now put here like this you should understand it's a simple yeah. okay so at the end of this video you should be comfortable writing any type of procedure okay see now what happened function has been successfully created now go back here now try to call okay by putting employee id one and something like aa at rate abc.com now what happened bro yeah okay so see what happened okay so see what's saying it's string error like it's statement okay. error okay invalid by p mail okay now this is what this is parameter so parameters compulsory what we should put so colon okay so binding variable like this okay otherwise it will throw error okay so we should put like this okay now try to compile one more time now try to execute so before confirmation of data is that what we're having okay see 
Rabin at rate Kumar. Now what happened? Now for the employed even, I am putting A. Now try to execute. What happened? So writing output as okay. A. Suppose I put to something like BP. Okay, it's putting. Okay, see. Okay, so mail ID has been updated successfully. Now what happened? So it's working fine. So employed one employed. Now drawback of this question is that what? Suppose like I put twenty. Now tell me twenty employed is there? It is not there. But what happened? See, it is saying like the employee had, mail ID has been updated successfully. Now what happened? This logic is having bug. Okay, now what we should check? See, remember we are having only what employee one and employee two. But what are you trying? Okay, when I try to execute to twenty or two hundred, what happened? Throwing x like what happened? See, mail ID has been updated successfully. This is not correct. Now what happened? Now we should do the condition check. Now how? Now when we want to update when the record is there or not? Okay, so when the record is there only we need to update the mail. If record is not there, we should like record is not available. Simply what? How to check? We should put the condition in. Select them. Start from so same table name. Okay. So now what happened? Now go back here. Now check the mail ID. Okay, where employee ID equals to one. Now what happened? This employee is okay. See now I'm putting the count. So count of Start. Okay, see. Okay. Now, if see if count equal to one in the sense like what? The employee is there. If, if this not there, in the sense like what? Suppose I like put ten water paint, it will be zero in the sense like employee is not. If employee equal to one only, we need to update. Otherwise, we should so error message like okay, employee is not there. Okay, copy the same thing. Okay, so put here same the execution section. Okay, like this you should understand. Okay, see. So before update, so try to do this validation check. Okay, so like this way, we can able to do. Okay, so now what happened before updating, we should check the point. Now what happened is value compass we should store in into class. So into L count. Okay, now what happened? Now try to compile. Now what saying is saying, okay, see, now it's, it, it doesn't do any error. But what happened? When I try to call this procedure, what happened? Bro? Error saying, okay, L count is, okay, invalid identifier. In the sense like what, okay, if you want to use any variable, compulsory we should declare in the declaration section. So declare, okay, see, this value we should declare. This is what? This is number data. Remember, if you want to use any variable, compulsory we should declare in the declaration section. So this is declaration section. This is execution section. Okay, so now this L count is there. Now try to compile. Okay, now what happened? What's the condition is that what, okay, if, okay, see, if L count equal to 1, then only try to update okay otherwise else condition else end if okay we should say message like okay so return so return okay employee id is not available okay so like this we should give one proper message now see what happened it is throwing error like okay see equal to symbol now when are putting conditional compass we should put bracket open and bracket close. You okay, know, try to compile. So without any issues, okay, what happened? Saying, okay, we should put semi equal. Okay, see, semi equal. Okay, so the semi equal is missing. That's what you can see. Now what happened? Now try to call this procedure one more time. Okay, so go for pause is like one. So before checking, first to check the data. Okay, now mm -hmm. so data is having what? Okay, so yeah, yeah. Now what happened? I am putting something like so eight eight. Now see, go back here. Try to confirm. Now eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, what happened? Okay, now see the same thing. Something happened. One second. Okay, now see what happened. Okay, now see employed. What happened now when exit? What happened? This is not working. So, reason is that what? Okay, so reason is that what? Okay, now go back here. You okay, see, now what I am trying to put? Okay, see, we are putting this hard coded value. Okay, now we should not put the hard color, which makes up the parameter. Okay, so which makes up hard. Okay. Go back here. That's what. Okay, so we should check that. Like we should debug. Now what happened? Compile one more time. Now try to call this processor. Okay, we can able to get okay, so mail ID has been updated successfully. Now see the data. What happened? Okay, now it will be eight eight. Same thing. Go for second and put nine eight. Okay, now what happened? Be updated successfully. You okay, see, it will be updated successfully. Okay, so far good. Now suppose like when I put twenty, not only twenty is right. It's not what happened. It will be so. See, employee is not available okay so one more time now what we are trying to know one more time okay so we want to update the mail id of an employee so dynamically okay see 
by passing the employee id by passing the mail id we want to update okay see so okay this is normal thing but what happened drawback of this thing is that what okay oh, so yeah. if without any mail id suppose like without any employee what happened it is doing mm -hmm. it's working fine but we should put the condition how can the condition we should put condition like this okay select mm -hmm. count of star l count so before updating i am taking the count of this employee if count equal to 1 in the sense like what employee is there okay one equal to one sense like the employee is there, we can able to update if the employee is not there one what what happens so zero equal to one it will fail you go to the else part so employee is not available for the point of so like this way you can able to go so so like this again so step by step okay first to go for static way then go for dynamic way okay so first to do manually update so put this process there instead person go for arguments instead of going for static go for dynamic and put the conditions what are the conditions okay before updating we should check whether the employee ID is there or not if it is there only we need to update otherwise we should give the message like employee so this is the condition state in the thing so like this okay so this is clear so like this okay so so by this seeing this video you should be in a position to write any type of logic okay? so by passing employee ID by passing employee mail ID I want to update like this okay so this is the condition I am checking for so this is clear so like this way you should understand any requirement and you can able to so if you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.